What's really fascinating about this story is that it begins 10 years ago with Elon Musk telling the world that he was really, really scared of AI because it could be this uncontrollable power in the world, something equivalent to humanity releasing an unstoppable, destructive evil. Not that Elon was the first to come up with this scenario, the 80s and 90s were saturated with content based on the dangers of machine intelligence, but Elon Musk was the first influential rich guy to get up in front of the world and say things like, we need to be super careful with AI, potentially more dangerous than nukes, or with artificial intelligence we are summoning the demon. In all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, it's like, yeah, he's sure he can control the demon. Didn't work out. This was 2014, and wrapped up in this seeming pessimism was actually an extreme techno-optimism for the future of AI. Elon was concerned because he felt highly confident that artificial intelligence could far exceed human intelligence. This was at a time when just about everyone, even people working in the AI industry, would have considered a human-level machine intelligence to be either pure fiction or something so far distant in the future that it's not our problem to worry about. But here was Elon Musk actively worrying about it. Well, then maybe AI is closer than it seems. If I had been a person with money and influence back in 2014, and I heard Elon Musk hyping up a new and emerging technology so powerful that it might destroy the entire world, I'd be looking for a way to get a piece of that action. So, it's not really any surprise that Elon was quickly surrounded by a group of powerful individuals who were more than willing to channel their wealth into the next big AI venture. Musk and his crew founded OpenAI in December 2015. There were two halves to the group of individuals behind this nonprofit startup. There was the talent. This included some of the smartest computer programmers, machine learning pioneers, and business leaders. Among them were Sam Altman, the current CEO of OpenAI, Andre Karpathy, who would go on to lead Tesla's AI program, and Ilya Sutskever, who would become the father of ChatGPT, the world's most popular AI application. Then there was the money. $1 billion in seed funding was split between a number of investors. They included Reid Hoffman and Peter Thiel of the PayPal Mafia, Amazon Web Services, aka Jeff Bezos, and some venture capital thrown in there for good measure. At the center of it all is Elon Musk, and Elon says that the reason he brought together all of this talent and money is to lead the world's development of AI in a non-profit, open-sourced environment. This will ensure that powerful AI is never monopolized never created in secret, never serving the interests of any one corporation or government or political ideology. It was a great idea in theory. In practice, as we know, it didn't really work, but we'll get there in a minute. Now, just a few months after revealing OpenAI to the world, Elon launches yet another tech startup, Neuralink. And now he's talking about how we all need to have computer chips in our brains so that we can fight back against AI. What is going on? Okay, so for the majority of the population, Neuralink was the first introduction to a technology called brain-computer interface. It's essentially a process of reading electrochemical signals inside the brain tissue, then converting them into computer action. It's allowed people to do things like control a computer mouse just by thinking, but it also requires that person to have a hole in their head with a giant wire sticking out. Elon believed that he could use microchip technology and wireless communication to make BCI so compact and seamless and affordable that everyone could have it. And then, once your brain is directly wired into a computer, we can begin to merge human consciousness with artificial intelligence, creating a symbiosis between man and machine. By doing this, we can actually prevent AI from taking over the world and killing all humans like in Terminator, because the human mind would be so highly integrated into the technology, and with our new computer-enhanced brains, the humans would have our own superintelligence, that would match and exceed even the most powerful AI. Or something like that. If this all sounds like science fiction, that's because Elon lifted the ideas of a neural lace straight from the pages of Ian M. Banks and his culture series of sci-fi novels. But it didn't matter because yet again, here is Elon Musk hyping up artificial intelligence and putting his money where his mouth is by founding two companies in one year, both dedicated to controlling the extremely dangerous power of machine learning. And for his next trick, Elon would take that AI and put it behind the wheel of a car. October 2016, Tesla publishes a blog titled All Tesla Cars Being Produced Now Have Full Self-Driving Hardware, and it includes this video, which begins with a title card. 
the person in the driver's seat is only there for legal reasons. He is not doing anything. The car is driving itself. And sure, for us in 2024, we know that this was a staged tech demonstration, not a real self-driving car, but at the time, this was mind-blowing stuff. And to think that every Tesla could do this, even the soon-to-be-released affordable Model 3, it sent a signal to the world that AI was about to have a very real impact on our daily lives. The problem here is that 2014 Elon Musk was right. AI is a beast. And for Elon to think that he could maintain control as AI began to accelerate and gain momentum, that's just one of the many examples where Elon was far too optimistic for his own good. By early 2017, Musk was out at OpenAI. It's hard to say exactly what happened here. We get conflicting narratives. Either Elon made a play to take control and merge OpenAI with Tesla, which led to him getting booted from the organization, or OpenAI defied Elon's wishes for open-sourced AI development and instead pursued ultimate wealth and control, causing Elon to walk away and continue the mission on his own. The thing is, it doesn't really matter who's right and who's wrong. The result was that both Tesla and OpenAI would aggressively pursue advancements in the field of artificial intelligence that would cement Elon Musk and Sam Altman as two of the most powerful business leaders in the world. And that's what's gotten us to where we are today. A world absolutely flooded by artificial intelligence. It's impossible to avoid. AI has soaked into every pore of our technology. In just two quick years, ChatGPT has become so widely adopted that it's up there with Google, Uber, and Spotify as an application that millions of people use as part of their daily lives. It's got the whole world sitting with eager anticipation to see what they release next. Search GPT, Voice GPT, Sora Video Generator. And over at Tesla, the promise of fully self-driving vehicles has made this the world's most valuable automaker. Even though they only sell about 2 million cars a year, about one-fifth the size of their average competitor. The market sees Elon's AI-powered robo-taxi as a source of nearly infinite money, one that could propel Tesla's value into multiple trillions of dollars. And now, the man who brought AI to the forefront of the global consciousness a decade ago with his dire warnings of impending doom, Elon Musk, is leading the arms race towards AI supremacy. Even Tesla is too limited for Elon to fully pursue his AI ambitions, so in 2023 he began yet another new venture, XAI, and this one is fully dedicated to the rapid pursuit of generalized artificial intelligence. AGI is what moves this technology from doing cool tricks like writing a bar exam or making a picture of a cat flying a spaceship or a video of Will Smith eating spaghetti. AGI is a genuine silicon-based consciousness, one that is constructed on the foundation of everything that humanity has ever known or imagined. It all goes into one singular digital entity, which, in theory, could then do anything. It would know everything. And then what? Well, of course, with Elon being a science fiction nerd, he wants to build this thing so that he can ask it the greatest question about the meaning of life, the nature of the universe, the origins of consciousness, what's outside the simulation. Pretty freaky stuff, right? So, yeah, I get why 2014 Elon Musk was already starting to get nervous about artificial intelligence and its impact on the world, because he probably already knew what 2024 Elon Musk was going to get up to, and somehow, as only Elon Musk seems to be able to do, he's managed to bring the world along with him on his journey.